Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a lot to go over. We have a huge, huge title update mo for mostly everyone. Probably everyone. We have Team of the Week news. We have most of the feared news. Well, Team of the Week reveals most feared news. So definitely a super exciting video. We have so much to go over. So stay tuned. Let's get into this as quickly as we can because we have a lot to go over. Before we get into the video, though, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Like I said, it is super important. So let's keep growing. Let's keep growing, guys. We're getting into the holiday season in terms of Madden. We got Most Feared coming. Thanksgiving. We have Zero Show. You know, they change the names every year. So I go with generic names. We'll, feel, we'll see what it is as it gets closer. But yeah, smash the like button. And of course, if you guys do need coins for any of these Team of the Week players, head on down below to my sponsor. You can get super cheap coins using my code. But yeah, that's it. Let's get into the video. So, title update October 12th should have been going live. By the time you're seeing this video, it should be live. It's targeted for around 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So, first, Madden NFL 22 for next gen. Uh, we got new scouting features in franchise mode. We have ranked mode in the yard. New gameplay abilities, tuning, and updated pass coverage, finally, again. And additional NFL authenticity updates. So the the authenticity updates you guys can read here, they're not the most important things to me. Uh, some little stuff, you guys can go ahead and read that. Some more player likeness, which is like players, I guess. I think it's like updating their faces and the way they look in the game, the way they like kind of move. That's like Jamar Chase, IU, Caleb Farley, Henderson. A lot of rookies, a lot of second-year players, a lot of young guys, right? So gameplay abilities. They did skip over that, so I will come back to that in a second. But franchise updates. If you guys play franchise, which I'm a very heavy franchise player, this is super important. This league that I'm in, actually, we've been waiting about two and a half months, give or take, to start our franchise from Madden 22 for this. So, new scouting update available. If you don't know what that is, guys, you can go watch some videos. Uh, Bengal did a great video on it, going over the entire thing. If you guys don't know Bengal, go check him out. You can check that out on there. It's pretty much a completely revamped scouting update. Now, there's been older games and older 2Ks, Maddens, and MLBs that have had scouting somewhat like this. But this kind of puts it all together and in the next-gen Madden 22, 2021 realistic version, right? So, make sure to head on over check that video out. It's too long for me to describe in this video, but it's super cool. Will it eventually become a nuisance and a lot of work? Possibly. Will it lead to better results in the draft if you put the time in? Very likely. So, make sure you check that out. Tune the logic for the MVP award via boosting weight of sacks, great emphasis, touchdowns, and more significant penalty for turnovers. That is good because I've seen I've seen defensive linemen get like 26 sacks and break the record in my league before, and they weren't even in the MVP race. Typically, it's a, it's a quarterback and halfback race every single time. That's pretty much it. Quarterback, halfbacks. And that's because halfbacks receive and can rush, and quarterbacks can rush and throw. So it's just always them too. But more emphasis on touchdowns. It's going to make it likely so where you know running backs and quarterbacks are still in that way in, in that thing anyways. But more significant penalty, significant penalty for turnovers I like because I've seen quarterbacks throw like 70 interceptions in a season and be like third in MVP because they don't count that. Fix some teams missing their draft picks on the active preseason roster. Address an issue with weekly strategy fatigue. Hurting CPU teams doesn't really affect you guys. Address an issue where running backs at high yards for reception. Fix the right tackle not appearing in trade menu. So pretty much, guys, the biggest thing is going to be the scouting update and I think the MVP award. Uh, we get some franchise, uh, face the franchise update. You guys can go ahead and screenshot that stuff. I don't think that's the biggest of deals in terms of what I'm trying to go over here. But you guys can screenshot it or pause and read through it. Next, guys, we have, let's see, we have the new gameplay updates. So runoff elite is a new ability. Again, you guys can go pause all this and read all this if you'd like to. But basically, runoff elite players with this ability will distract defenders for longer with their runoffs. Like in real life in the NFL, like when they run a halfback dive, or, uh, you know, draw and the wide receivers out there doing a double move on the wall on the cornerback and they're trying to play the pass, not realizing it's a run. Runoff elite pretty much means they're really good at running off their cornerbacks. On the ball, players with this ability are much likely to be fooled by runoff wide, uh, run, wide receiver runoff. So that's the opposite. Precision kicker, kickers with this ability can see the entirety of the kicking arc. I actually really like that if they added that for punters because I missed the days when you could easily pin. Defenders with this ability will cause heavy fatigue penalties when tackling a ball carrier with a hit stick tackle. Demoralizer, defenders with ability will clear Paul carries progress towards entering the zone with a hit stick tackle. So that's cool. So if they have like, if, you know, if they're one run away from freight train, you can just nail them once with a hit stick and they lose it. I actually like that a lot. Mind reader X Factor, when activated, defenders can see the offensive play R via coach cam. Okay. Pass coverage, guys. This is important. Hook zones. Fix an issue causing the mid read defender in Tampa 2 to drift the wrong direction versus trips, leaving the tight end open off the snap. This makes sure the mid read is opening with that vertical. I like that because people have been doing that all year to me. All year, they just instantly streak the tight end on me. Um, 
just in general, it, it was just annoying. It was just, it was instant. Improved curl flat zone logic so they would prioritize outbreaking routes instead of shading under verticals. Also improved some logic so curl flats and quarter flats won't chuck out breaking routes that were causing them to give up any leverage. They had to cover the sideline. Flat zones. Implu Im improved cloud flat zone logic to better carry vertical routes to protect the fade and improve their facing direction immediately following the chuck. Fixed an issue so cover two sinks off squat defenders could better shade receivers in the flat. Fixed an issue preventing hard flat defenders from covering inside receivers, tight ends in bunch, and close formations. Yes, they got to fix all that. Like, I, I would notice that too. I run, I run a, you know, I run hard flats, and there'd be a guy running like a drag, but because there's someone towards the inside, the, my, my defender would be like slowly walking to the sidelines. Like, that doesn't help me. But then when they, I threw it to the sidelines, they, they wouldn't cover down enough and they'd still get under them. Man alignment, um, man coverage alignment matchups. We got improved man defender motion logic so man defenders would properly follow and align. Think. God, nothing gets me more mad than loading up into a game and the person just motions 80 times like the conductor and it's just so annoying and my whole defense gets messed up. We fixed an issue causing man coverage assignments incorrectly swap when the offense motion day receiver cross formation. Oh, thank the Lord. F dynamic game day, fixed an issue with Colts home field advantage. Oh, this is this is other stuff. So you guys can go ahead and read that again too. Just some stuff regarding that stuff. QB contained, tuning QB contained behavior so defenders will get more depth off the snap. Now, I don't like this, actually, because I was having a lot of fun online with Lamar Jackson just running around the edges. Tunings open up disengage angles to allow contained defenders to anticipate better getting off blocks to more quickly react to quarterbacks dropping back. Yeah, I could literally just outrun them. Tackling, fixed a rare issue preventing a QB slide from being ruled down. Fixed a rare issue that could allow defenders to warp off the ground from diving tackle into a standing wrap tackle. Fixed blocking issue preventing the blocking RB from picking up an edge rusher versus nickel 3-3 wide flipped. Address an issue where quarterbacks would be able to scramble deep into the offensive backfield at full speed until they found an angle to get around pass rushers. Yeah, that's what I did with Lamar. So they're going to really uh, nerf that. Fixed an issue causing players to start the second half of the game extremely fatigued. Fixed an issue causing the user control players to get stuck running on touchbacks. And again, so on and so forth. You can go ahead and pause this. I do want to get to the team of the weeks. So guys, we got Quincy Williams as one of the plus one Lower set pieces. Also, guys, for the most feared news, it is coming Friday. So today is Tuesday, so Friday is approximately what, 13th, 14th. So like the 15th, we'll be seeing most feared, so stay tuned for that. That should be fun. 15th and Halloween, obviously, at the end of the month. So that gives us like a nice 15, 16-day period for the promo. So that's that's cool. Quincy Williams, lower set piece. we got Devontae Adams. Tay Adams with a nice plus one upgrade on his uh, base, which should be about a 90 now. So there you go. You see he has the 86 speed. I mean, that's still kind of horrible. So, I mean, I guess this card isn't going to be that usable. All in all, right? Maybe we have a 98 Will Fuller on theme teams these days. Uh, we got Trey Hendrickson, 85 overall for the Bengals. 82 speed, 88 excel. Pretty decent. Not, not, not a bad card. We got Austin Eckler, 88 speed, 87 excel, 87 agility. Um, you know, decent card again. Plus ones. You know, pl uh, pretty much power up increases. We know how this goes. Not bad. Darius Slade Jr., someone I actually did miss on my list, which I knew that I missed after I already, you know, already said what I said. Forgot about how good he did, but he is, he did really good as well. I believe he had two picks. So 90 speed, really good for Darius Slade as well. Uh, high, high zone, decent man press, not a bad card. Not nothing, you know, nothing meta. Now, Marquise Brown, on the other hand, does get a 93 speed powered up. So he's actually going to be probably a budget beast considering this card shouldn't go for too much. And I'm pretty sure he's one of the end catch you can actually get for free. So keep that in mind. Miles Austin, yes, we did predict Miles Austin yesterday. We are now two. We're two for five. Again, all I gotta do is get one of those legend ones right, and that counts. So we're two for five for the year. Miles Austin, he had 250 yards and two touchdowns. So that's awesome that I got one right. Uh, card itself, you know, 92 speed powered up. He has above 90 catching. He'll get 90 catching traffic, above 90 spec, above 90 medium route running. Won't get to the 90 or uh, deep or short running. So the card, I think, I'd say the card's decent. I wouldn't say it's meta. Uh, Kabir, Gabaya, Biamila. If I said that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. Right end. He's actually really good. 89 speed powered up with 93 uh, Excel. He'll have above 90 block shot with 93 finesse move. His card's really good and super athletic. Kevin Bayard. Above 90 zone. Above 90 speed. 90 Excel. You'll have hit power. Good hit power. 80, uh, 82 man. Card's decent. I don't think he's fast enough. At this point in the game, I kind of want, you know, a little bit faster speed on, on guys like this. But he's still good, you know, Titans game team-wise. Still going to be really good. And we got Will Fuller for the LTD, guys. This card's pretty crazy. I mean, 93 speed, 87 jump, 91 catching, 86 catch traffic, 86, 87 spec. Uh, we got 87 short, 90 medium, 94 deep. Again, short running is typically the one I care least about with a guy like this. And he gets the medium and deeper running threshold. He will have a 94 speed powered up. Plus, you know, the, the extract card you can get, it's like 95, 96 speed. Plus a theme team, guys. He can get up to like 98. He's, he's crazy. Uh, this card's going to be good. 
Cards gonna be really, really good. But guys, it is about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give us a big thumbs up as always. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.